Amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. During this time of pandemic, death looms on the horizon and forces all of us in, in the world to recognize the prospect of, of dying someday, sometime, some moment, somewhere, somehow. And yet the Lord assures us that if we keep his word, we will never see death. Of course, he doesn't mean that we will not physically die. But he is referring to the fact that when we keep his word in our hearts, when we keep his presence alive and active within our lives, although we will die physically, that will not be the end of the road. There will be a new horizon and a new dawn of a new day that will never end. The sunlight will that will never fade. But those who do not keep his word will see uh, the end of the road, a roadblock, no exit. They will live a life on the other side of, of time that will be anything uh, but, but good and desirous. It will be close to death. Of course, we'll live forever no matter whether we live in heaven or in hell. But to live in hell is as good as dead forever. And yet the Lord reassures us today to keep close to our hearts his word. And what is his word? That he is our God and we are his people. And that he is not a God who is absent from us or distant from us, but is very much near to us every moment of every day, a heartbeat away a breath away, closer to us than our own shadow. But we need to turn to him. Marianne gave me this uh, little meditation today called God's Phone Number. And it accents the importance of staying in communication with a God who wishes to walk with us to eternal life, a life that will never end. It goes like this. Hello, God. I called tonight to talk a little while I need a friend who will listen to my anxiety and trial. You see, I can't quite make it through a day just on my own. I need your love to guide me so I'll never feel alone. Give me faith, dear God, to face each hour throughout the day and not worry o over anything I can't change in any way. I thank you, God, for being home and listening to my call, for giving me such good advice when I stumble and fall. Your number, O oh God, is the only one that answers every time. I never get a busy signal, never had to pay a dime. So thank you, God, for listening to my troubles and my sorrow. Good night, God. I love you too, and I'll call again tomorrow. Please bless all my family and friends too. Amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death.